All right, guys. So we are back here with another video. We're gonna start something new. We're gonna start Quick Tip Tuesdays. Today we're doing a quick tip on tying a snell knot. Now, a snell knot is good for using when you're flipping. Mostly, basically, that's the only time that I use it is flipping. Because then, when I do not have a Texas Texas rig bullet weight, but when a bullet weight comes down with a snell knot. Then it hits the top of it and the hook turns up and it's going to go right into the top of the fish's mouth. We'll show you that in a second now. Alright guys, so we're here now. Now you take, take it, you're going to want to put the string in, or your line, not string, coming in through the eyelet towards the back of the hook, towards the back. And you're going to pull it down. I like to leave a lot of slack just because that's how I am. I'm going to keep it parallel. This loop right here, you're going to want to keep it parallel with the line. And then you're going to take your tag line, the other half of the loop, you're going to bring it back up. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep holding this. And you're going to want to wrap it around. You don't want to go below the bait keep. You want to stay right right on top of the bait keep, right above that. I like to go just about four times around. Three and four. There's four times around. Now, you're gonna to take your tag gun after you just wrapped it around, put it down through the bottom of the loop, and then you're just gonna hold that against the hook and just pull the top, top end of your line, and it's gonna bring that loop up Still going to want to keep that how it is. Pull, keep, keep some pressure on this. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Get that up and over the bait keep so that you're not grabbing onto that back little piece right there on the bait keep. Keep pulling. Then cinch it right down. You just pull. There's no way that's letting go now. You can put, hang on, let me get my finger in this a little bit better. Put all the pressure you want on that. It's not going to let go. No way. If you can see on the back right there, how it comes up through there. And then that goes right there. You got cinched down this tag end. That's cinched down right there. And then what you're going to do, just cut this tag end off. Wow, these are some really shitty scissors. Wow. There. Alright, well. There we go. That's good enough. So now, pretend my finger is the drop or bullet weight. Pulling it down. See how that hook goes straight up like that? That's what you want. Right there. That's going to go right into the fish's mouth. You're going to be pulling it. It's going to right into that. As soon as that fish puts any pressure on that, that bullet weight is going to come down. As soon as that fish, say the fish bites, fish is sitting there. Fish bites up here. You yank pulls it right up into the top of their mouth. And it's just going to curve right up and just right, set right in there. That's how you get a good hook set every time. So there you go folks. That's how you do a snell knot. Thanks for joining in to this Quick Tip Tuesday. See you next time. Schleif Outdoors. Out.